Um, a little nervous about doing a video of stringing because I'm not a stringing expert, but here's a table and I get a lot of wobble. I'm not happy about that. If I take the table off, you can see there's like a one inch. It looks like there should be a bearing here, but there is no bearing and then there's just that post that it sits on. So this is a question I keep asking people. Nobody can sort of give me the answer. Maybe one of you will know. Uh, if I'm going to show stringing on a or Prince P200 machine, I might as well string a Prince Original Graphite Classic. And lucky for me, I have a 1987 four stripe here that's going to do the trick. So first thing is take my hex key wrench and I got to sort of get it to length since I have my plastic pieces here. This is the H, these are the K's, and uh, I guess this has a K on it also as well. You didn't see that earlier. And they all seem to be decent. There you go. I don't want it to lift up. Usually I'll do it here and it lifts up just a little bit, and so then I bring it back so that it falls. I heard it fall. And I'm going to use my clamps plastic piece right there on the bottom which matches up the plastic pieces. I only have two clamps that actually have this. So, not the greatest system in the world. Sort of weird that the old Ectalons have a better system. So that'll come up. This one's broken, but here's the piece right there. and I'll Slide it in place. Put it in. Tighten it up. I don't know if it's high enough to see. There we go. And I tighten. I'm not too worried about tightening too much. And then I'm going to spin this until I feel it get a little snug. The Allen key down here. Uh, you can't see that on the video. No, can we? Now there it is. So I'm going to turn it just a little so it makes it a little wider here. And now I feel it getting snug, so I'm going to stop. That tells me to tighten these up one more time. That's the way the old manual I have says to do it. And now I'm going to start feeding in. I haven't even turned on the machine yet, so let's get that initial noise going out of the way. I don't mess with the tension dial as that's happening. Uh, one thing I'd say to if you're a brand new stringer, razor blade is probably one of the best tools I've learned over the trade. And all I'm going to do is, I'm going to do one piece stringing, is I'm going to uh, just shave off in a fashion to the side so I get a nice sharp edge. It's going to be really nice when I have to do my crosses later. And so I get a nice tip. I'm sure there's better tools out there. I have little kids in the house, but they don't come over here and mess with my machine so I guess the noise probably scares them away actually they're not that little so there that's that we'll feed it through this is I've strung, this is the bracket I play of choice. Actually, this is not it. This is an oversize. I use a midsize. So this is 16. Uh, one of the ways I was taught to do this by a person was then I'll just count out eight and I'll pull one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other people will say, hey, just use 10 feet. Uh, 10 feet might be more, might be less, you know. This is a set of string I probably traded for. It's just some alpha synthetic gut, but hey, it's a greenish gold. And put this through. Make sure I don't kick my string. There we go. 
All right, so I've got it. I gotta take a break. All right, so the racket's mounted. Strings run through. Put on my clamps. This is the larger. This is a medium. This is the small. I only use the small for the badminton. Medium sometimes for some tennis. I'll be using the big one the whole time. Set my tension. When the machine kicks in like that, I wait for it to stop before I start setting the tension because it's not all the way where I want it. I'm going to set it at about 62 or 3 for this racket. Good enough. 62 or 3, 62 and a half. I can't really tell. It's a dial. I'm going to pull the first pull here using both strings in the jaws. Um, and then I'm going to set it with a floating clamp. So there it goes, and you see the wobble of my machine. Check the tension, it looks closer to like 64 now, so again, it's not really that big a deal. And my floating clamp won't fit underneath. It's too big, so I just go on top. There it goes. I let go, and then I'll just start pulling. So only one this time. Say this is the long side. Yeah. Underneath the frame. Checking my tension, it looks closer to 60, so I'm just going to tighten it up just a little by spinning the dial. There we go. Clamping off. And now I'm going the other side. Release. Checking the tension, looks good. Clamping. Big wobble. If it were up to me, one of the adjustments I would make on this machine is to have someone with a blowtorch cut it off down here, lower the angle so it's almost like the opposite of one of the stringway machines. That way I could get a 360 degree turn and always pull from underneath.
realized I don't have my clamps pointing the right way. So I'm not getting close to the frame at the end. I don't think it's that big a deal. I also noticed. So, and it's not one I use.
Here's my attempt at around the world. The glide bars. My clamp's going back on the correct side. Since this is going to be a tie up, I'm going to add a few pounds. Which I do by just turning the dial right here. this one tighter so I gotta loosen it back up so I turn the dial. Perfect back to where I was. Get my other short bar. And my other clamp. Uh, one thing I learned about this machine just recently was these actually just slide on out of the way right here on the table. Underneath. I'll get it in a moment. Tension wasn't tight. I gotta check it again, so there we go.
string or string one cross ahead is always a good idea.
Yeah, more on like I was saying earlier. There. Oops. This way. Clean up my mess. Last pull at tension. Just to count for the tie off. It's a pod, you always have tons of extra string. Off the excess with my angled clipper. Turn the machine dial back to zero on the tension. It's the air being let out. Turn it off, and then underneath, there's a nipple underneath the actual machine itself, which is going to release all the pressure black it's like you'll see and undo the frame